you know you're after, you're coming up after and explodes, okay. That's the end, after the speaker. Good morning, everybody. All right, so welcome. Are we excited? It's Missions Emphasis Week. That's it. Uh, first chapel of Missions Emphasis Week. I'm really excited to see what, what God's going to do this year. Um, what better way to start Missions Emphasis Week off than to announce some outreach week trips? How about that? So, let, all right, all right. So we're going to announce 2009. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out a na- the trip leader's name, where they're going. Trip leaders, if you could just stand where you are, wave at everybody, and then just stay standing, okay? So, are you ready? Because I am too. <laughs> All right, uh, first off, we've got Andrew Thomas. Andrew, will you stand? Andrew will be taking us to Diamond Willow in South Dakota again. Next up, we've got Mike Neal. Mike Neal, can you stand up? There we go. Mike Neal, he is ready for this. Okay, he's going to be taking another team to Ecuador. Ashley Tanner, where are you at? Ashley will be taking a team to Ireland this year. So get ready for Ireland. Jamie Sassine, where is she at? There she is. All right. We've got a team going to Japan. Jason Merriman, where are we at? Jason's going to be taking. All right, behind you're standing. You stood too early. Okay. Uh, Jason is going to Mexico. And then we got Billy McKinley. Billy's in the back there. Billy's going to be heading back to Romania this year and taking a team with him there. And then finally, Becca De- Dennison. Becca, where you at? Becca's going to the motherland. She's going to Zimbabwe. So uh, we, we've got eight trips, guys. Uh, we're really excited about this. Eight teams going to eight different countries this year. So keep your ears open. There's going to be more information throughout the week. Oh, how did I miss Eliana Morlock? Stand up. She's going to Jamaica. All right. It's still eight. <laughs> it's still eight. Eight teams going to eight different places. Keep your ears open. They're also going to have some tables set up um, on Thursday night at the Missions Fair. So you can come and get lots of information, talk to them personally then. And uh, just spend this week praying about it and decide where you want to go and what God might have for you this next outreach week. Enjoy the day. Hey, so you guys pumped for Missions Imps this week? Can you want us? Is this on? All right, we're good. Hey, why don't you guys go ahead and stand with us as we begin worship? Uh, I just wanted to kick off this morning and just saying that the reason that we get to go do mission, the reason why we even have this week is because we have a God who has a mission. So let's not forget that as we're diving into this week. Um, it's not just for people who want to do overseas missions. It's for the people who believe in the mission of God and because of the great things that he's done for us. So let's, let's remember that as we kick off this week. Fighting out the 
things about our God. Uh, this next song, it just reminded me of the passage in scripture where Peter talks about how there is no other name given among men by which we must be saved, but by the name of Jesus. Um, and his name really is worthy. And it's when we have that reverence in our heart is what really drives us to live out that mission for God's people. And it's also a reminder that there is no other name by which we must be saved other than the name of Jesus. I know a lot of the times we can want to use our skills or our talents to try and build a way to bring people to God, but ultimately it is the name of Jesus. It's his mission, it's his gospel, and it's his grace which saves people. And so just remind yourself that it is his mission and that he's the one who's worthy of it, but we get to be a part of that, and that's the coolest thing in the world to me. So just that's my reminder for not only myself, but I think for each of us.
that course out one more time just our voices you are worthy you are worthy of your name you are worthy you are worthy of your name Jesus
Just how beautiful your gospel is, how beautiful your grace is. God, I wish that we could just spend time to run through our life and just watch not only how you saved us, that moment when we decided to follow you, um, but just where you've brought us today. And God, let us hold on to that and, and remind us that that's the gospel that we need to share with everyone that's around us. Um, let us remind each other and encourage each other with that good news and with that mercy and God's love for us. But let's also equip ourselves to take it back to the people who need it, um, the people who are still in broken lives, 
broken marriages, broken relationships, broken addictions, whatever it is, God, um, just give us the words to say to those people and let us pray for opportunities to reach out to them. So we thank you, Father. We pray that we have open ears um, to hear what you have to speak to us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Is that my cue? All right, we are blessed this morning to have our speaker with us. Uh, our speaker this morning is Kevin Dooley. He is the 2018 ICOM president. Uh, we, are, we are blessed to have him because he comes with all kinds of cross-cultural experience that he can share with us from. Uh, he is currently serving uh, Central India Christian Mission. Uh, from, from sta- he's doing the state side, from what I understand. He, he and his wife and four kids live in, in, in Indiana. Uh, before that, they served 10 years in Panama doing uh, leadership and community development. Before that, six years in Northern Africa it, working with civil, c- civil uh, diplomacy initiatives. Did I get that right? Uh, <laughs> speaking of right. civil diplomacy initiatives, he's also the founder of Global Hope Initiative. Uh, on top of all of that, he just kind of on the side for kicks, he's, he's also investing his life into engaging the refugee and immigrant communities throughout the Midwest, which I know is something a lot of us here in this college have a heart for. So I hope you guys will give uh, your good attention and hear what God has to say to you this morning from Kevin Dooley. Uh, For those of you who are are watching from home, uh, we're going to be cutting the live stream now uh, for security reasons. So please welcome your speaker, Kevin Dooley. Very cool. Thanks, Greg. I appreciate it. God bless you. 